As the Vatican celebrates the solemn rituals of Holy Week again in lockdown, there is the dawn of what could be a new season of leadership. Meet Sister Natalie Bacar, tapped by Pope Francis to be the first woman undersecretary to the Synod of Bishops, an advisory body to the Pope. Your appointment has been called historic, a significant step for women. I would say a symbol of the importance uh, for the bishops, <laughs> for the Pope, the importance of listening to all the people uh, of God. The 52-year-old French nun is now the woman with a voice and a vote in what has been a sea of men. What Pope Francis is doing is to disconnect uh, the, the leadership from the ordination. Under Francis, women now hold 10 of the 172 senior positions at the Vatican, just 5 percent. As the Pope tries to eliminate the sense of superiority among some in the priesthood. What does that make possible? A new style of leadership, because it's about also shared uh, governance, uh, about teamwork. Born outside of Paris, educated in business, Becar is known as the sailing nun, at home on the waters off the French coast. Do you feel close to God when you're on the water? Hey, my roots are on the sea. Uh, and when you are on the boat with a crew, you experience something of the mystery of the church. She is now a symbol of hope in a church that is losing women in this country. We have to have women in visible roles and in decision-making. Georgetown's Kim Daniels points to a recent survey that shows just 17 percent of millennial women attend mass weekly. So reaching young women is critical. This is an urgent challenge. It is one Sister Natalie understands. Equality is important. If the church doesn't change, young women will continue to leave the church. Do you see your appointment as a crack in the stained glass ceiling? I know that many people see this appointment like this. You know, I am only a part of a long chain. Sister Natalie says she has met with Pope Francis in her prior roles working on those meetings of bishops, but she has yet to meet with him on this new assignment. However, she, she says she sees this as an effort by the Pope to have the church listen to a diversity of voices. Savannah and Craig. All right. Ann Thompson at St. Patrick's just down the block from us. Thank you very much. Sister Natalie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.